hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be revamping my wig this wig obviously looks crusty like it looks so so bad right now just because i haven't worn it in months and i haven't worn it in months because i don't really like it so this wig is just it's i think a 14 inch body wave i think I'm not sure I'm going to write it down somewhere by the side but yeah I think it's like 14 inch body wave everything even the closure too was also 14 inch body wave but obviously I didn't make it well because I, I made it in a rush or I don't know I just don't like how it turned out I've worn it out or I've worn it to go out a few times but yeah so today I will be revamping it so what I want to do actually I want to do the um Okay, so first of all, I'm going to dye the lace, bleach the lace, sorry. And then I want to do the deep dye watercolor, sorry, the watercolor bleach method. That's what I'm going to try, the watercolor bleach method. See, I've never done the watercolor bleach method before. So let's just hope it bleaches the hair. And then after that, I'm going to cut it and curl it. And of course, pluck the lace again, because what is happening over here? Oh my God. But yeah, let's hope it turns out well. If it doesn't, I ruin my wig, and that's the end. But yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so like I said, the first thing I'm going to do is bleach the lace. So right now, I'm just showing you the bleach. This is just some random bleaching powder that I got online on Taobao, and now this is the developer. So this is a 40% sorry 40 volume developer that I also got online. So yeah, just the bleach and the developer I got online. And this is the mixing bowl and the brush that I'll be using to mix my bleach. So now I'm just taking out the bleach and I'm going to put some parts of the bleach in the mixing bowl and I'm just going to add some of the developer. I don't really measure, I just take it out and yeah, just watch me mix it. You don't want this to be too thick, you also don't want it to be too runny. So I just add a little developer first and then I mix so that I don't make it too runny. And now as you can see, it's very very thick. So then I'm going to add some more developer so that it will be kind of like the texture of whipped butter. It's not too runny so it doesn't seep through the lace and actually bleach, bleach the hair sorry which doesn't actually matter since i was going to bleach the hair but yeah you don't want it too thick or too runny just like this is perfect now okay so now i'm going to put the bleach on the lace i just turned the hair inside out and then i just put some bleach right on it and i'm using a spoon to carefully spread it out And now I covered it with the foil so that it can process better and I'm leaving it for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, I washed out the bleach from the lace. I'm sorry I didn't show that part. The next thing here I'm doing is to mix the bleach solution that I'm going to be dyeing my hair in. I used a good amount of bleach powder as you can see and then developer i use a lot of developer because we're trying to get it to be like a runny mixture i actually wanted to add a bit of hot water in this but i don't know why i just decided not to last minute the next thing i did was just to get the hair and just put it into the mixture so the hair was just freshly washed okay i didn't really wash it wash it like with the shampoo i just washed out the bleach from the lace and then now i'm going to just dip the whole hair inside this bleach mixture once i put the hair in i just realized that the mixture was not enough and i should have made more or i should have added some hot water in <laughs> yeah but i didn't so i feel like it was already too late at this point i'm just trying to massage the mixture into the head so 
after everything then i used foil to cover the hair so that it can help it process better i'm going to leave this covered for 30 minutes and after 15 minutes i will flip the hair over so that it bleaches equally on both sides okay so it's been 15 minutes and now i'm opening it to flip it over to the other side as you can see the hair had already processed a bit like it's quite blonde i was very happy when i saw it i was like wow just in 15 minutes it's so blonde like this already there was so much heat coming from the hair like you can actually see the smoke coming out of the hair that's how hot it is so there were some parts that looked a bit darker that i was trying to get the bleach in there but it was so hot that i was just so i didn't even want to touch it it was very hot so i basically just tried to do what i could flipped it over and then i just covered it back and let it stay for the remaining 15 minutes So now the total 30 minutes is over and I'm finally removing the hair. I opened it and it was all hot and everything but it did bleach. It, it, was, it looked pretty okay like it worked. And also you can see at the bottom of the bowl there is some liquid it's yellow i don't know where this liquid came from maybe because the hair was wet when i just brought it in but yeah that's just what happened so i'm just showing you guys everything that happened so i'm sorry i didn't show you where i washed out the bleach but i did now i'm using a purple shampoo this one i also got it online this is just to help tone the blonde sorry tone out the oranginess from the hair so it looks a bit more blonde i left it on for five minutes as they said i should and i used my normal conditioner the Aussie moist conditioner to condition the hair after washing it after washing and conditioning the hair the next thing i'm going to do is just dry the hair with my blow dryer before blow drying the hair you can see that the hair looks kind of dark and i was like god did it even bleach at all like what is this what happened to all of that blonde that i was seeing when it was so wet i think the lace bleached a whole lot more than the actual bundles so by the time i was done blow drying the hair the lace was very much blonder so because it's the closure so it kind of just covers everywhere so it just made it look lighter i don't think there was really any damage to the bundles but i think there was some damage to the lace like compared to how it was before and after the bundles came out pretty much the same but the the lace closure it just felt drier and just yeah now after blow drying the hair the next thing that i will do is to pluck the lace i just randomly plucked it i didn't do like any particular style or whatever i just plucked the lace pluck 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 pluck, pluck and i'm done and now i'm just showing you how it looks So after plucking the lace, you can see some patches even. Some parts are darker than the others. God. I'm just showing you how the hair looks right now. Just turn it around so you can see even the lace parts, which generally dyed better. So it still has some dark and lighter patches. So this is how it looks on the inside. You can see what I'm talking about. The bundles are way, way darker than the lace, but it just it was such a beautiful color like i didn't even mind so what i'm doing next is just to straighten the hair this is just a flat iron that i also got online and i'm just straightening my hair and after straightening the hair i will cut it 
so now i'm done treating the hair the next thing i'm going to do is to cut it i just went in randomly with my scissors to just chop 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 it shorter and then after that i went in with a clipper and i just tried to make it the same length then i curled it i curled it with the same flat iron i tried to curl the, it away from the um face so i just split it into two so the left side i curled it away from the face the right side i also curled it away from the face it was easier curling the left side than the right side i don't know why but it was just easier for me when I curl, 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 a few steps later, I spray it with my um, oil sheen spray, the olive oil spray, and then curl, 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 spray, curl, 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 spray. That was just what I did for both sides. This is how it looks so far. The curls look so beautiful, my God. But I was so tired. So after this, I just went to sleep and I just left it curled like this. That's how it did look all night. I'm going to insert a picture that I took of the hair. Finally, I'm going to go in with one last oil spray. I think I went overboard with this oil spray, honestly. So now this is the next day this is how it looks the curls are still intact so what i'm going to do right now is to brush it actually comb it out i just used a wide tooth comb i use this comb for my hair and i combed it out and oh my god i was disappointed i was like what what happened to all of my curls the curls just disappeared like you guys can see how they just fell flat like after putting I, I felt like why did i even comb it they just disappeared i don't know why i don't know what happened i don't know if there was any product that i should have used to make these curls last i don't know if maybe i didn't use a curling iron that's why but I was like my god i was so disappointed like after everything i went through only for you to just go like that they were just flat i felt like it was lean but at least now i know you know and my wig head just kept on moving i'm sorry about that it just kept on moving <laughs> i had to hold it as you can see it looks kind of stringy it looks stringy because i think i i went overboard with the oil spray like i said but it's, it's all good all the same it worked out <laughs> and now i'm just giving you guys a 360 to see how this hair turned out so this is the final look of the hair i think i did an okay job it looks okay so you're going to see it on my head right now right, so this is the final look of the hair uh this side is cool this side is so curly but i just generally like how it turned out i think i think i did an okay job i like the color i don't have any makeup on obviously but yeah let's ignore that as i was saying i like the color i like the turn out because it's body waves i'm just going to let it wave out naturally or i'm going to try and curl it again and hope that i get better results <laughs> maybe combing it out wasn't the best i don't know i don't know but yeah yeah this is it this is how it turned out i hope you like this video it's bouncy i like how it's so bouncy but yeah i hope you like this video i hope you like this hair please like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you thank you so much for watching all the way to this end if you really did watch up to this end thank you thank you so much i love you bye